，每张笑的脸闪出暖的光，人共爱透光芒，回忆发热情热诚热血金黄，潜能量。关顾关注互爱之上，成共信满胸膛，从未厌倦困笑着散开关心网，全为了关心同样。谁要照顾到伸出手去帮？大家好，早晨，欢迎大家参加养和八周年启动礼。因为疫情嘅关系，启动礼系以网上嘅形式进行嘅。希望一阵间各个嘉宾同埋同事喺可以同我互动，一同祝贺养和八周年。Good morning, welcome to this centenary kick-off ceremony. After the ceremony, we will invite some of you to share your congratulation message with us. 启动礼仪式之后，我会邀请一啲嘉宾同埋同事系有互动嘅环节。到时会希望大家将你嘅祝贺词同大家分享。好，事不宜迟啦。而家就去啟動禮嘅現場，將時間交俾我哋啟動嘅主持 Ada 先。唔該，陳醫生，大家好。二零二二年係養和醫院喺香港創立一百週年嘅重要里程碑，我哋一直秉承。优质服务、卓越护理嘅理念，为香港、区内以至全世界提供全科、优质同埋高端嘅医疗服务。The year 2022 marks the centenary of Hong Kong Sanitarium and Hospital, and in adherence to our motto, "Quality in Service, Excellence in Care," we are committed. To introducing comprehensive, high-quality, and advanced medical service to Hong Kong and all over the world. 好开心，今日系养和医院八周年启动礼。喺启动礼之前，我哋有请养和医疗集团行政总裁及养和医院院长李维达医生为我哋致辞。Today is the kick-off ceremony. Of the centenary celebration of Hong Kong Sanitarium and Hospital. Before the ceremony begins, may we invite Dr. Wharton Lee, the Chief Executive Officer of HKSH Medical Group and Medical Superintendent of Hong Kong Sanitarium and Hospital, to give us a welcome speech. Dr. Lee, please. 恭喜发财 Good morning, everybody. A hundred years ago, Hong Kong Sanitarium established the first private hospital in Hong Kong to serve the local Chinese doctors. So, a hundred years later, we have emerged as the leading private hospital in Hong Kong, recognized by the community and often quoted by the media as Long Tao Yi Yun. So, we've earned this reputation. And its status through our traditional service over the years. We have、uh, worked with the top doctors to treat the patients with in our、uh, facility, with with our、uh, equipment, and supported by a team of nurses well recognized for the tradition of service 
with the motto of excellence in service and quality in care. So working with our successful formula for the centenary, how we are going to move forward is to enhance the professional and working relationship with our doctors and with our staff towards the objective of achieving clinical partnership in care as our model of healthcare. <clears throat> Five or six years ago, we had initiated this project with the Project 100. The program was catered towards enhancing our staff to be more effective partnership with our doctors. The Project 100, it's a professional and leadership enhancement program, sending over 300 staff to world-class institutions so that they can learn some of the aspects of best practice from this institution and for their international exposure. So for this year, what we need to do is to engage some of our doctors to work with these clinical leaders to form teams, clinical teams at the front line through the process of uh, team building and leadership training through the three T's of teaching, teamwork, and trust. The point is to create leadership at the front line. Facing us in the coming years, now centenary, moving forward, we know the pandemic is with us. It affects every part of our lives. It affects our patient care. And what we need to face the challenges is to be able to improve, adapt with the coming times through leadership from the front line. You know, these are tough times, not the happiest of times. And the world is not very stable. So it's sort of facing the way I like facing a critically ill patient. But we have the ICU setting in order to treat the condition. What does it mean? It means that we need to have good monitoring of what's happening at the front line, just like the ICU patient with the bedside monitoring of the vital signs, input and output, a multidisciplinary approach to assess the condition all the time, to form treatment strategies, and to implicate it at the front line for the treatment. So moving forward from our centenary, the key is towards leadership and management of the front line, working with our doctors, staff, and management. So to proceed forward this year and beyond is using our heritage, the pride of our heritage and confidence and innovation to move our service through the centenary and beyond. Thank you. 多謝李醫生,有請養和醫療集團營運總監及養和醫院行政經理李維文先生為我們支持. May we invite Mr. Wyman Lee, Chief Operating Officer of HKSH Medical Group and Administration Manager of Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital to give us a welcome speech. Mr. Lee, please. It's my great pleasure to welcome all of you to this morning's joining us 
in the kickstart of the centenary of the Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital. Due to COVID-19, we were unable to celebrate the occasion as we have hoped or planned. Twice the hospital have come into grief. COVID-19 causes great degree of economic and uh, so social impact to Hong Kong. This is not the first time we at the hospital faces this problem. In, 19, in 1930, we were in the process of building the current central block. And if you remember, 1930 is the beginning of the Great Depression. We ran into a severe financial difficulties. And through the generosity and support of Dr. Li Xifan, who put up his, his money and his personal guarantee to ensure that a hospital can survive this calamity. The second part that causes a great deal of distress in the hospital was during the Second World War. In the four years of occupancy, the hospital barely survived and we lost a lot of the patients through immigration or just simply left Hong Kong. And throughout this period, Mr. Li Shifong, which is the brother, younger brother of Dr. Li Shifan, stayed behind to manage the hospital and manage the survival of the hospital. The result of, the, of this uh, traumatizing period was much of the sellable assets of the hospital have been sold to maintain the operation and to feed the staff and patients. However, during this, this very hard period, there was something that came out that was totally unexpected. And we didn't know that until a lady showed up in the 19, 1990s and he, and he inquired that she was a orphan at the Hong Kong Sanatorium. And throughout that period, we didn't know that we were running a orphanage. And it turns out that we didn't. A lot of the babies were abandoned and left at the hospital doorsteps. And our staff kindly took them in and raised them as much as they could. And eventually a lot of them got adapted, adopted and, uh, and this particular lady was uh, adopted to, to the US. And she came back and asked that question, you know, what, what was my history? And fortunately, we were able to verify that through one, through one of our old retired nurse that worked uh, at the hospital during that time. So it comes up to the spirit of the hospital that we try to our best, even in the, in the hardest of time, to care for our patients and the people that are in need. Records showed us that few organizations managed to survive 100 years. And we manage a hard, this harder feat. Not only are we, are we surviving, but we are also growing. Over the eastern part of Hong Kong, we are building the new uh, Hong Kong Center, uh, HKSH Eastern Medical Center. A major emphasis will be on cancer treatment, which is a major cause of death not only in Hong Kong, but around the world. And as part of the Eastern Medical Center, we are installing a proton therapy, the first proton therapy in Hong Kong. The effort of the proton therapy, also in conjunction with four other radiotherapy machines, brings the center to one of the most comprehensive radiotherapy treatment in this part of the world. 
at the full commission, which is still years away, we will bring together some of the most advanced cancer di and diagnostic treatment um, in Hong Kong. Now, to go into something a little bit lighter. Years ago, the board of directors met to debate the name, the change of name of the Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital. Should we remove the, the name sanatorium from our name? We are no longer a sanatorium. So after much discussion, taken with respect to the other well-known institutions like Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic, they reflect their past history that they started life as a clinic and now they are a full-fledged hospital and also teaching institutions. So after much debate, the name remained. However, our reputation grew as our reputation grew outside of Hong Kong. We are now being known in the short name of Hong Kong Sen. The fact that sanatorium did all of the advanced medical work and treatment and equipment, this, the name sanatorium stands out and people remembered that we are something different. The last hundred years is just a beginning. I would like to quote the saying, you're either growing or you're dying as an organism. There is nothing in between and grow we must. I would suggest you stick around for the next hundred years and see where we will be going. Thank you. 多谢李先生，系今日咁重要嘅时刻，我哋非常荣幸邀请到养和医疗集团临床管治委员会联席主席梁刘尤芬太平绅士以及梁志雄医生太平绅士为我哋支持。We are honoured to have the co-chairpersons of Clinical Governance Committee, Mrs. Sophie Lang, JP. And Dr. Lan Chi Hong JP to give speeches for this momentous occasion. Xinchang Lan Lao Yao Fan Tai Ping San Si. First, please welcome Mrs. Lan. 恭喜養和醫院，我哋已經一百歲啦。但係喺而家呢個時代，一百歲唔等於係乜嘢。我哋仲有另外嘅一百歲，要我哋嘅努力。咁我相信過去一百年咧，都係我哋啲同事。尤其是我哋啲所有啲專業人士、醫生啦、護士啦，喺佢哋嘅職位上，大家共同向住同一個目標向前進嘅。咁未來我哋亦都應該好似十八歲嘅谷愛玲咁，繼續爭取去表現自己、挑戰自己，向共同嘅目標再邁進更高一一步。點樣先可以成為我哋團隊中嘅表表者咧？其實我哋每一個都可以。我哋雖然年紀已經唔係十八歲，但係我哋有生一年咧，都仲可以做我哋應該做嘅自我表現，同埋更好咁去理解我哋個共同目標，然後大家更進一步。話唔埋未來就係你同我都可以做領袖嘅日子，讓我哋大家共同努力，為下一個一百年。繼續發光，為養和個名號做得更好，為我哋自己活得更精彩。多謝梁太，有請梁志雄醫生太平新事為我哋支持。Please welcome Dr. Lang. Dr. Morton Lee, Mr. Wyman Lee, Archbishop Kong, Mrs. Sophie Chen, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Let me begin by congratulating the Hong Kong Sanatorium. On her hundredth anniversary, a century of premium healthcare services for those who needed medical care in Hong Kong, in China, and in the world. In congratulating the hospital, I have to pay special tribute to the founding fathers of the Hong Kong Sanatorium for their vision, commitment, and endurance. The Lee brothers, Dr. Lee Xuefan and Dr. Lee Xuepui. 
together with the determination of the successive governing bodies under the leadership of Dr. Walton Lee and Mr. Wyman Lee, Hong Kong Sanitarium today is a household name in Hong Kong. Much has already been said on the progress and development of the hospital. I would like to add my congratulations to the hospital from the eyes of a medical doctor who has been serving my patients in this hospital for the last 40 odd years. The hospital has a well-structured management system. For example, the hospital management or hospital governing committee. It has attracted members not only from the healthcare field, it also has attracted members, advocates from outside the medical field. They scrutinize the work of the hospital. They promote other services such as IT, hospitality services, business models, and patient advocate to improve the hospital, both in medical care and also administration. Any hospital's core value is healthcare. This hospital organized continuous cutting edge medical symposium. The Lee Si Fun Oration, which is held yearly. The Lee Si Pui Symposium, which again is held yearly, and many others. Regular mortality and mor morbidity meetings of different specialties are being held also regularly, not to penalize, but to improve problems and to solve problems. The core staff of any hospital are the nurses. They are the most frontline, they're in constant contact with patients. Any efficient and committed nursing staff not only will help any patients on their road to recovery, but also comforts the relative. They also give confidence to the medical staff, be they in-house or visiting. Hong Kong Sanatorium, one of the best nursing care, if not the best nursing care, through their five-star nursing school. The nurses are trained totally in the, under the culture of Florence Nightingale. What do I see in the future? Hong Kong Sanatorium will no doubt progress and improve in their hardware through opening of new services and introducing new technology and new state-of-the-art equipment. Yet it's the people, the team, that makes the hospital the premier. Under the leadership of Dr. Walton Lee, he has spent no effort in improving the team. There's a continuous collaboration with the two medical schools of Hong Kong. Teams of medical staff are being sent overseas to learn new technology, and nurses are being sent to America and Australia to broaden their vision. Finally, my congratulations again to the hospital. I look forward to witness our hospital marching into the next century and beyond with even more vigor. Thank you. Before the kick-off ceremony begins, please welcome the most reverend Dr. Paul Kong to pray for the centenary of Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital. Okay. Let us pray for the 100th anniversary of the Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, you are God of healing and compassion. At this kickoff ceremony, marking the 100th anniversary of the founding of Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital, we thank you for the establishment of this hospital and for the dedication of all those who have worked in it over the years. We beseech you to give skill, sympathy, and resilience to all who care for the patients and your wisdom to those engaged in medical research and studies in this hospital. Father, we ask you to strengthen all in their vocation through your spirit, that through their work, patients will be restored to health and strength. At this kickoff ceremony, we ask you to bless all the forthcoming activities and programs 
marking the 100th anniversary of this hospital. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among all those who work in this hospital and those whom they serve in this hospital forever and ever. Amen. Now, we would like to invite all officiating guests to kick off the centenary celebration. Dr. Wharton Lee, Mr. Wyman Lee, Dr. Chou Yin Chow, please proceed to the centenary logo here for the ceremony. This kick-off ceremony symbolizes our great achievements and service traditions over the past 100 years. Thanks to the support of all the top-notch and professional medical personnel, we have been able to perpetuate improvement and innovation in service, research, training and medical facilities. Here, the officiating guests are going to fill the centenary logo with green sand to mark all our success and talents in the past century as we embark on a new journey. 好,事不宜遲,我們請各位嘉賓準備。倒數。三、二、一。讓我一百週年會聚咗一代又一代。讓我人嘅專業創新同埋優質服務。我們會繼續承先啟後,將讓我優良嘅文化、精神同埋價值
誒、呃、院長李樹芬醫生同李樹培醫生所俾我哋嘅誒根基。咁就以後落去咧，我哋仲有好多計劃要、呃、做噶。咁我希望咧，我哋可以、呃、努力更全面嘅發展我哋醫院，成為一個多功能現代化嘅醫院。多謝各位。On behalf of the medical faculty of CHK, I have great pleasure to congratulate the Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital for your centennial. The Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital is a world-renowned center of excellence. Since its establishment a century ago, the hospital has saved countless lives and nurtured generations of outstanding clinicians. Over the past decades, the Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital has been an alliance of the medical faculty of CHK in terms of service, research, education and training. We are grateful for your strong support and look forward to building an even stronger partnership. Thank you, Dr. Cho, Dr. Cho. Professor Gabriel Lang and Professor Francis Chen for their congratulation messages. Dr. Cho Yi-sang, Liang Gao-sau and Chen Gao-sau Ge-Zuk-Ho-Chi. 大家咧，實在我哋而家已經有四百幾人咧，一齊咧係同我哋慶祝呢一個誒啟動禮嘅。嗱，咁咧其實我哋今年嘅一月一號開始，啊一月一號開始咧，喺醫院各個地方，無論係入口啦，誒我哋嘅病房啦，我哋嘅中心咧，都已經咧係有我哋呢一個一百嘅週年嘅。啊 ，logo 喺各個地方噶啦，咁我哋喺養和醫院、喺養和東區醫療中心，同埋咧喺金鐘咧，都有一個養和歷史嘅長廊，係俾大家睇到嘅。咁啊，跟住落嚟咧，亦都會有好多不同嘅慶祝嘅節目。啊，最重要，最重要，明天，明天係情人節，係。二月十四號咧，我哋係會有一個襟章一百嘅襟章，同埋一個八達東卡，係當為利是咧，俾所有喺醫院做事嘅職員同埋醫生嘅。啊，咁將來咧，我哋陸陸續續都有誒、呃、其他嘅節目，會喺養和百週年嘅 website。係睇到嘅，亦都喺養和天地會公布所有嘅慶祝節目。咁第一炮咧係會喺三月至到四月，我哋有個 Walkathon。咁啊 Walkathon 咧，今年所籌到嘅錢咧係會捐贈一俾誒一個長者嘅節目，同埋咧一個係誒養和嘅兒童嘅。誒癌症基金咁跟住咧，我哋喺啊醫院裏邊咧，係六七月到咧，係會喺大堂嗰度咧，係有歷史嘅展覽。到到年尾咧，我哋去到啊，大約咧九月十月嘅時間咧，係喺香港嘅醫學博物館裏邊咧，亦都會有一個養和歷史嘅展覽嘅。咁希望大家咧都留意。整年啊，我哋呢個養和嘅慶祝嘅節目，咁慶祝咧一路會去到二零二三年嘅三月，係
，李樹芬基金六十周年嘅時間先至會結束嘅。多謝各位。咁而家咧就睇下有啲邊人係會有賀詞同大家講嘅。我哋有 CGC member 係咪啊？揾唔揾到啊？啊 ，Mr. Larry G， 嗱，我哋咧系请嚟我哋咧 CGC member， 即系我哋临床管治委员会嘅 Mr. Larry G， 啊 Larry G， 啊 Larry， 早晨，早晨。O K， 诶，各位嘉宾，各位院长，首先咧，我衷心嘅祝贺养和医院一百年呢个里程碑，养和一百年前由一个疗养医院。成为今日香港国内国外首屈一指嘅医院，呢、这个系龙头医院添，真系诶呢个同历届嘅领导层创办人系功不可没嘅。另外养和嘅三宝更加系成功嘅因素。我好 proud of 我嘅 association with 养和，我希望喺以后嘅日子，养和继续进步。不断创新，为香港国内外有需要嘅人士服务，恭喜大家，多谢。系多谢多谢 Larry， 多谢朱文康先生呢个恭贺词，多谢。咁下一位咧系啊 Gloria， 嗯，哦唔系，哦见到见到见到系啊 Professor Grace Tang。早晨早晨，诶、呃、各位诶、呃、朋友。誒、呃、養和醫院嘅誒、呃、主辦人，我今日好有誒好、呃、高興咧，有機會咧係恭賀養和醫院成立一百週年，咁啊希望醫院嘅工作咧係蒸蒸日上。咁喺呢度咧，我啊想多謝養和醫院對香港大學醫學教育嘅幫忙。喺一九九八年，當係做係醫學院院長嘅時候咧，阿 Joseph 阿陳副院長咧就同我討論。關於醫學課程嘅改革，咁從此之後咧，養和醫院咧就係、是、香港大學醫科生培育嘅其中一個地方。我亦都知道咧，醫院咧亦都參與咗一啲專家嘅培訓。我喺呢度咧就非常感謝佢哋對醫學教育嘅幫忙。咁養和醫院咧喺最近咧咁多年咧，亦都參與唔少世界性嘅臨床研究。喺呢一方面咧。佢哋嘅參與咧係誒有目共睹嘅，咁所以咧，我想講養和醫院喺醫教研對香港嘅醫療界咧係做咗唔少嘅貢獻。咁我相信喺未來嘅日子咧，佢哋會做得更多更好。喺呢度再次誒恭賀養和醫院，我覺得佢哋唔止百尺竿頭更進一步。可能千尺或者亿尺竿头咧，系更进好多步嘅。多谢，多谢多谢 Professor Grace Tang。咁下一位我哋揾到嘅咧就系、是、啊 Gloria， 嗯 ，Gloria 亦都系我哋一个诶、啊、Clinical Governance Committee 嘅成员嚟噶。啊 Gloria， 早晨，早晨啊，各位啊，好高兴各位嘉宾、各位院长同埋各位同事。好高興咧，今日可以參加養和醫院嘅八週年大好日子啦！亦都好高興見到養和醫院全院嘅上下咧，都好積極咁體現養和嘅服務宗旨精神。全院嘅醫護團體隊咧，都秉承養和嘅服務宗旨，提供優質嘅服務、卓越嘅護理，並繼續為病人提供最完善嘅醫療服務。我喺度祝贺养和医院八周年生日快乐，祝业务蒸蒸日上。多谢大家。多谢 Gloria，Thank you very much，Thank you very much，and I can see 啊、uh, ，Oh，I can see Alan，Alan，Good morning，Good morning，Alan Seaman is also one of our clinical governance committee member。Morning，Alan。Okay，Thank you。Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate the Hong Kong Sanatorium and Hospital uh, because a hundred years, there's not many organizations that can really make this boast. And、uh, from what started as a dream a hundred years ago, has now become one of the 
best organizations, especially in Hong Kong and probably around the world. The sanatorium um, in general has always boasted the top nurses, the top doctors, the top machinery, uh, and they keep upgrading all the time. Talked about the Proton machine that is coming to be the first one here uh, with the Proton machine for cancer and uh, always upgrading and thinking of the future. And as we know at the moment, of course, everyone in the world, especially Hong Kong is going through a very, very difficult time and hospitals uh, really are very important in everybody's life at the moment. That's probably the number one uh, thing. And uh, just having an organization like the sanatorium, really having uh, the guidance of both Walton Lee and Wyman Lee and everyone else and all the staff, it's really my honor to be associated with the sanatorium. And I hope that a hundred years later, we can all be sitting here together. And Joseph, I know you'll be here for sure. <laughs> and so I hope that we can all be sitting here together and, and, and really uh, enjoying the 200th anniversary. But congratulations once again to everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alan, for your message. Thank you. Um, do we see other hands raising? Voila. Right, okay, you can, now everybody is in a gallery mode and you can see other people. Okay, 大家都見到原來有很多人都是參加我們今天的啟動禮的。過去幾天我們有 HMC member啦,有各部門的醫生同埋護士呢,都呢係同我哋呢係講咗一啲賀詞嘅,咁呢就亦都我哋係錄影錄影咗呢啲賀詞,咁而家呢一齊去片,大家一齊睇睇啦。养和百年养和医院百周年百年基业百载树人百花齐放百村汇海养和百岁生日大快乐养和百岁生日大快乐祝养和再次接再厉康院一百周年医护全城卓越百年医护全城卓越百年百年耕耘石果芬芳祝養和繼續開創光輝美麗養和百歲幸運芬芳繼往開來再創新高百年紅葉楊河萬歲養和百周年生日大快樂全城百載異香歌繼往開來喺阿公牙養和一百歲 Happy 百尺乾頭更進一步愛心醫護專業精神養和百週年醫護傳承長遠百年耶好多謝大家的支持因為時間的關係已經接近尾聲了請大家在這個鏡頭裡 okay,